So... Uh... What happened to you? In the void? Huh. Interesting. I thought you didn't care. Well, sorry, Doc, but last time I was busy having a panic attack. So I might have missed some details. It's all scientific interest anyways. Well, I can stand by that. What is it that you want to know? Everything. Like, how did you survive that fall? And where have you been all this time? Hmm. So you want the long version. Fine. To be honest with you, I don't think I survived. All that raw monster magic overcharged my soul. It felt like melting away. I couldn't keep my physical form intact. And for a long time, I wasn't myself anymore. And when I was able to go back to normal, something was missing. I had lost so much soul matter in the place where I ended up. The void. On top of it all, the magical charge my soul received removed me from this plane of existence and made me immortal. Immortal? Well, it made me neither alive nor dead. Something in between. Something that only those with DT can see. Whoa. So all those times I saw you, those weren't hallucinations? Don't look at it. It's not real. It's not. That was really me. I tried to warn you about certain timelines. But I only managed to terrify you. So I stopped trying at some point. Oh. I guess I wasn't just going mad then. But if you knew everything, why have you never tried to stop the kid in the weed? Since they're so powerful... Because I can't. The fabric of reality is already highly unstable. If I started to tamper with it too, it could just collapse. The changes I can make are minimal. I can affect the world only when the anomalies are not in it anymore. Otherwise, they would just reset more out of curiosity towards me. So you couldn't do anything to fix all this either. Well, now that the resets are over, I can actually do something to help you. Okay, if you say so. I hope we can make something stick for once, even though it's terrible. Songs. Let's go back to work now. I don't want to think about it. Solms, could you please give me the blueprints? We should be almost done here. Just some adjustments and... Solms? Solms, are you listening? Oh. It has been a very long day for you, my friend, huh? <clears throat> Where? Shush. I'm just carrying you to the infirmary. You can rest there. As for me, I'll continue the work. I don't need to sleep. <laughs> you never needed to sleep. Not when we used to work together. Well... Yes, that's true. I had trouble sleeping back then. But you helped make it less of a burden. You're my friend. Of course I tried to help you. But most of the time, you wouldn't listen to me. Hmm. Gaster? Yes? You told me your soul got shattered, right? Won't it be a problem if we go through with this? Won't it be dangerous to attempt a transfusion with an incomplete soul? 
Have you already forgotten that I am immortal? No, it's kind of hard to forget. <laughs> uh, but messing with souls is still dangerous. Well, don't worry about it now. We'll think about all this tomorrow. Now rest. You will need it. Just five more minutes. Oh, hello, kid. Is everything... Hey, what happened? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> what should I forgive you about? I've just seen you this morning, kid. I barely know you. I... I've done something bad. Really bad. And... I don't know how much you remember. But I just... had to tell you. I was trying to save someone. But it didn't work. I listened to the advice of a friend. And had nothing left to try, so... I... I... Hey, uh, kid, I don't know what you did, but you sound pretty choked up about it. it uh, so, so, it wasn't just a bad dream, huh? No, it wasn't. Please, don't refresh my memory. I don't want to know the details. Just never do it again, okay? I'm so sorry. I won't. I promised. <laughs> you promised. And you seemed so guilty that I thought you actually meant it. Even after everything that happened with the flower, I still was stupid enough to believe someone like you. I guess I just never learn. You did it again, and again, and again, until everything got burned in my brain, or lack of a brain. <laughs> you didn't even make sure I was dead last time. You just left me there to bleed after barely scratching me. But since I'm made of cardboard, I guess it was enough to incapacitate me. What were you trying to do? Is this just one of your experiments? I don't get why you're doing this. I know you. You're not soulless. Is it because of something I've done? But those times are long gone. We were friends. So why'd you do it? Do you really hate me that much? <laughs> uh, it was just a stupid dream. I always feel so real. Well, I better get back to work and check what Gaster's doing. Songs. Hey, Paps. Did the doc bring you here? Doc. Doc. Who's the best bro ever? You are. Best. Songs. I know you want to go back to normal. You just need to be patient a little longer. I told you, your big bro's going to fix everything. Fix. See you later, Paps. Love ya. Love ya. Gee, I'm back. Sorry I slept. Whoa. I can't believe it. You finished it. You know, you'd be a damn genius if you weren't a complete whack job. Heh. <laughs> oh, thanks for the backhanded compliment, friend. Stop appearing like that! You wanna give me a soul attack? 
Anyways, your ego doesn't need any more boosts. You'll want to talk about it appearing out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. I guess it's just karma. So, uh, thanks for the jacket. I was starting to get a little chilly. No, forget it. It's just the thing I wanted to give you back when. Well, it's not important anymore. As you can see, the machine is ready. Yeah, and that's great, but what are we going to do now? We could give the transfusion a try. But what if something goes wrong? Your soul is fragmented, and even though you said you can't die, if there's a way to make it less risky, we should try it. Actually, there is something that can be done. But it's dangerous. Dangerous is my second name. Come on, tell me. It's not like I have something to lose, right? You're wrong, Sons. Stop acting like your life doesn't matter. One of the only things I've been able to do in all this time is watching you die in stupid ways. And I'm actually sick of it. see that. But why? I'm trying to cheer you up. And how is physical contact with your sweaty, tiny hand supposed to help me feel better? Sometimes I wonder why I even try. Anyway, what I want to say is that it's my time to do something for our situation. If I can be useful, please tell me what to do, and I'll do it. I'm not some delicate teacup, you know. If I want to take some risks, I can take them. This is the only time it's worth something. You already chose in my place once. Please, don't take that away from me again. Fine. I'll tell you what I have in mind. Thank you, G. But it has to do with the void. The place where I ended up after I fell. And I can stay there only for a few minutes before melting again. So I won't be able to help you once you're in there. So, do you remember what I told you about my soul getting shattered across space and time? When I managed to put myself back together, I wasn't able to get all of my fragments. And some of them went on to live separately from me. We stayed apart for so long that they have developed their own consciences. Some of them are afraid to be a part of me again, but they might trust you. What you have to do is catch them and bring them to me. I'll do the rest. Well, what even is the Void exactly? To put it in simple terms, it's the trash can of all the destroyed and discarded timelines. Since I got erased from all of them, I was the first one to go there, before the reset started. Man, that doesn't seem a very safe place. Will I be erased too if I enter it? No one belonging to the main timeline has ever entered the void, so there isn't any data about what can happen to you. Oh. Well, isn't that great? Since you're still part of the main time, you should be safe. However, retrieve the fragments and come back as soon as you can. There's no need to push your luck too much. <coughs> yes, sir! Is this supposed to happen? Don't worry, it's completely normal. Completely. You dirty... Be careful in their songs. 
You could see really unsettling things from past timelines in the void. But remember, they are just scraps. Faded memories. Nothing more. Back home, and I don't have my slippers on. How nice. At least it can't get any worse than this. Why don't I ever shut up? Well, it's better if I get going before I get snowed. All Gaster gave me is this stupid phone to call him back when I'm done. And I'm not even sure it works here. Better keep the prehistorical thing safe, though. <laughs> well, uh, this is something I've never seen before. But it's not like it's alive, right? Uh, these things are just scraps. <laughs> Nope. I'm not dealing with this. I already have enough trauma, thank you very much. I just have to find those fragments. Maybe I should start from G's old stomping grounds. That seems reasonable, but... Oh. Oh, no. I hate this place. Stop following me! You're not my brother! You're just... J just... Uh, scrap. Sorry, I... I didn't mean to yell at you, it's just... I miss him, you know? And I know you're not him. You can't come with me. You're not part of the main timeline anymore. You understand that, right? Good. I'ma just... Eh, uh, go on, then. Uh, thanks for trying to cheer me up. Gaster used to like Waterfall when we worked together. Maybe there's a part of him waiting down there. A residue of whom he used to be. Someone I once could call a friend. A few hours later. Maybe those fragments aren't even real. Maybe G just wanted to get rid of me for whatever reason. It wouldn't be the first time he lied to me. Huh? What's that noise? <laughs> well... <laughs> oh, please, 
Please, please don't let her find me. I don't have the stamina to face her right now. I can't... Oh, it's about time you arrived. I've been waiting for you for ages. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. Thank you for... Wait, how do you know my name? You're smart. You can figure it out. I've been hoping for someone to come here for a long time. The void gets really lonely after a while. And the other residues can be kind of creepy. So you do know why I'm here? Mm, maybe? And aren't you afraid of me? G basically sent me here to extract your soul. Yeah, I imagine that. But I was never made for solitude. And if going back to being who I was before will help, I'm on board with that. Besides, after everything we... I mean, Gaster did to you and your brother, I think he owes you. Whatever it is you need my help for, I'll give it to you. It's the least I can do now. Come, follow me. Uh. I'll take you to the others. Some of them might hold a grudge against you after how we left each other. But I'm sure we'll find a way to make them cooperate. After all, guilt is a strong motivation. You sure there's going to be more fragments here? Last time I saw them, they were wandering in this place. See, what did I tell you? And what do we do now? Well, you go there and, um... You really are part of G, ain't ya? Less talking, more acting. Uh, hello? Oh, God, aren't you supposed to be good at this? Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I don't know if you remember about me. I'm... What are you doing with him here? Have you gone mad? Can't you see? I'm helping him. Don't you remember? He's the one who... I mean, he's done us a kaput. He's... He's the worst. He's... He's a dangerous, bloodthirsty killer, and you want to help him? I mean, can't you see the seething evil in his eye sockets? Just look at him! Why is this happening to me? He clearly has ulterior motives. Don't be fooled by his sad, squishy face. Listen, I get why you're so wary of me. But I'm not here to take revenge. I just want to help my bro. No, you listen! You're the one who killed us! How in the world did you think you could just waltz in here and ask for our help? Because we, I mean Gaster, sent him here. Excuse me, he did what? Why would he help our freaking murderer? Because we're the ones who started all this. We ruined his and his brother's life. Don't you feel the slightest amount of guilt for what we did? We won't get another chance to go back and fix what we have broken. We must take it. <laughs> You're just lucky she's here, sons. Because if it were for me, you'd be the one who fell in the core. <laughs> There. Happy now? You better bring me back to Gaster in one piece, or I'll come back and haunt you. Don't worry. I'll bring you back safely. You don't need to hop my garage, bud. Wait, what the? It's breaking! It needs a vessel! No! What? No, sons! Don't! Are you okay? 
Don't worry. The soul is fine. I'm not worried about the soul. I'm worried about you. Oh, no. What? Oh, what's wrong? Is my face falling off? Uh, no, no. You're just, um, a little gray now. That was reckless. You didn't know what could happen. Hey, I had to do something. The fragment was going to break without a vessel. So, how do you feel? Uh, a little groggy, but I'm fine, I think. I'll just have to keep it warm till we get back to G. There, let's sit here for a while, okay? Nah, it looks worse than it really is. It's just that the fragment takes energy from my soul and, well, with all this walking around. But don't worry, once G takes it off, I'll be back to my normal wimpy self. Right. I don't know why, but I have the feeling your word can't be trusted when it comes about your health. <laughs> And what makes you say that? Oh, I don't know. Just a hunch. I'm pretty sure that even if you were dying, you wouldn't tell me. Well, I'm not dying now. Honest. Huh? What the? Huh? What's wrong now? Uh, nothing. I thought I saw someone for a second. Maybe it's better if we go now. I don't like this place. I think I can walk on my own now. Are you sure? You look like death. Cool. Cause that's how I'm supposed to look like. Ah, uh, very funny. As if you haven't told us that joke a thousand times already. The only positive thing about the void is that we didn't have to listen to your unholy jokes anymore. Ah, come on. I know you love them. We never laughed. You were laughing on the inside. And you're lucky, because while you were away, I came up with a thousand more jokes to tell you. Spare us. I said we'd help you, not subject ourselves to torture. Besides, weren't you worried sick about your brother? Where's all the anguish? This is my way to cope. The next fragment should be in the L2 level, but he's a little harder to approach. He's such a scaredy cat. Oh yeah? Then in the meanwhile, I'll cheer us up with my hilarious comedy. Okay, so I have a science joke for you. A photon checks into a hotel and is asked if he needs any help with his luggage. And then he... <laughs> he answers... No, <laughs> I'm traveling light. <laughs> Sons, please, don't. I'm sorry. It's just that you and Paps always had the best reactions to my jokes. I can't resist. <sighs> That's not an excuse. <laughs> <sighs> Why can't we use the elevator, though? He'd hear us arrive. Besides, they're broken. Someday, someone cut the electricity off to direct it to the labs. If there's a scrap for everyone for the main timeline, maybe it was Alphys is doing. Yeah, maybe. I don't see anyone here. He must be hidden somewhere. I told you, he's a big coward. But he'd never leave his nest. What if something happened to him? Don't worry, Sans. I'm sure he's closer than we think. Oh yeah? How can you be so... Sure... Sans! Uh, are you finally bringing me to my parents? Sorry to tell you, but you're a few years too late. You must be one of Gaster's fragments. 
Where are you taking me? I don't have time for playing games. Put me down! What the? No! Let me go! I said, let me go! What is this magic? I can't! Please don't! Ah, look at what the cat brought in. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Good job, feathered friend. You got an ungrateful culprit. Sorry, I've never been good with landings. Here I am now. Uh... Let's pretend that never happened. Uh... Why did I choose you as my helper? Uh, if I remember correctly, you said something about me being the most gullible. <laughs> oh, yes. After all, you did your job. Sloppily, sure, but you proved yourself to be useful. Uh, thanks? What matters is that we got what we wanted. Really? And what do we want? A ticket out of here, silly. Oh gosh, look at us. We're back here in the lab, and you're going to help me like in the old times. Like before things went south and you killed us. I don't blame you for what happened, though. Er, not completely, at least. In a way, I am grateful for what you did. If it weren't for you, I would have never brought in my scientific knowledge in the void. So, thanks for killing me in a horrible, horrible way and sending me here to rot. However, this place has grown stale. I need to unravel new worlds. And in order to do that, I need to get out of here. And this is where you come into play. So, what do you think of the renovations I made? What's wrong now? You don't like the place? Oh, don't worry about her. I just made sure she'd stay silent. I need to be very focused for this. He said you will let her go once we're done. What? Oh, yes. Uh, let her go. <laughs> sure thing. After all, she only usurped my position as royal scientist and took credit for my DT research. I'd never hold a grudge. But let's get back to us. I know you're probably dying to know how you'll help us get out of here. Actually, it's really simple. There you go. There's not much we can do about your feet, but that's not going to be a problem. <gasps> Listen, if you want to get out, that's precisely what I'm... Oh, I know what you're doing. But I have no intention to go back as part of a gaster. I have my own plan. So, going back to us. What we will do is connect your soul to this portal. And since you came from the main timeline, you'll work as a conduit to get there. So... Take your soul out willingly, or will I have to use harsher methods? If you think I'll take my soul out for you, you must be G stupid sad. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. You've always been difficult. Stay still now. This may stink a bit. <laughs> Don't try to fight it. It's useless. <laughs> See? That wasn't so hard. All we have to do is put this on your soul. Eh, it doesn't look that bad. Well, wait, I forgot to push the button. Of course. Of course there has to be a needle in it. Come on, don't be such a baby bones. It won't hurt. Probably. And now, 
Relax. Please don't. It will make this slip in more easily. Wait, wait, wait. There has to be some other way. P please. Huh? It didn't... It didn't hurt. I... I can't believe this. Oops! I'm so clumsy. I was just looking at it, I swear. Wow! I didn't know you liked it this much. Psst. I said, Psst. So, Mr. Bird. Do you have a name? Sorry, but I shouldn't be talking to you. Why? Do I look dangerous to you? No. But... Listen, I'm a good judge of character, and you don't seem like a bad, um, a bad bird to me. I know that scary cat is your friend, but he'll hurt me if I stay here. So please, help me. You little rascal! I get distracted for five seconds! You're already turning my employees against me? Better gag me again. And now, let's get into the meat of this. Is he okay? You said it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> He'll be fine. Let's turn on the machine. I'm ready to get out of this gray hole. Look! It's working! What?! Why does nothing ever go right in this cursed place?! I'll go take a look at the generator. As for you, you'll keep an eye on the slime ball. If I catch you being buddies with him, I'll be mad. Understood? Yes, yes, I'll be good. I promise. Just, just don't be angry with me. I won't be. If you don't give me a reason. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. He said he wouldn't do anything bad. Here, let me clean this off. Th thanks. Is it better now? Well, to be completely honest, that thing on my soul really hurts. Wait, wait what are you? Free you! No, no, don't! P please be gentle! You right, you stupid bird! No. Why are you all so mean to me? Papyrus, is he... is he okay? <clears throat> Perhaps? Oh wait, it's not... Sons, are you... how do you feel? Hey kid. Uh, I think I'm okay now that you're with me. Thanks for not leaving me behind. <clears throat> How did you even get in here? With that cat lurking around. We got here through the drain pipes of the lab. Not my brightest moment. I met Pap, um, a residue of your brother on the way. He seemed very concerned about you. Um, Sans? I think you should put your soul away. It's not safe to leave it out in the open like that. I don't think he can. Cat person, I'll give him something now to make him stay that way. You're aware that this is all your fault, right? If it weren't for you, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We can always beat him up later. Now it's better if we go. Wait, 
Don't forget about Alfie. Oh. Let's grab her and go then. It's not smart to face cat person now. We'll figure out how to take his fragment once you feel better, okay? Sans, can you walk? <laughs> it's really rude to talk about someone who's listening. Don't you know that? Mr. Bird, I'm extremely disappointed in you. This is how it looks like. <sighs> I knew you were going to betray me, but man, that was fast. Don't you all understand? If you let me use his soul, I'll get us all out of here. Come on, it won't kill him. Just hurt a little bit. If you think we're giving him back to you, you're even crazier than I thought. Kid. Hmm. This is what you think. There's nothing else to say. Are you okay? Please say something. <sighs> that was very unfortunate, but I didn't have much of a choice. Now, if you could be so kind, hand over that soul of yours. No one else has to get hurt. So, what do you say? Don't you want to help your old friend? Sons, don't listen to him! That was a poor life choice, Mr. Bird. I think I've had enough of you! Watch out! No! Get off of me, you <laughs> scoundrel! <sighs> Sorry. You were becoming too much of a nuisance. No grudges. <laughs> Ah, you're a master at quitting, and yet... <laughs> you always persevere at the wrong time. My patience, on the other hand, is wearing thin. I've tried to be nice, but... This is how you want things to go. I'll be happy to comply. <laughs> Your stubbornness is extremely annoying. Why don't you just cooperate? The quicker I get out of here, the quicker you'll go back to what's left of your brother. Sorry. Not this time, buddy. Sorry, old friend. I hope I didn't hurt you too badly. Not at all. <laughs> Guess you got me this time. I hope you're happy now. There is something I wonder about. You know, it's just a matter of time before Gaster turns on you. What will you do then? Are you going to kill him too? Again? <laughs> See you later, old friend. I'm not So I have to do this. Hey, kid. Can you throw me a bone here? You've almost made it. This isn't a game. You sure can't go out like this, Richmond. 
Then do something! You're the royal scientist! At least you were! I don't know how to do it! He has to go back to the main timeline! He'll be for the fine there! What are you arguing about? Signs! Guys, my ribs, please? I'm sorry to interrupt at this moment, but you have to go back to the main to the timeline now. They gave you some magic supplements, but you need to get those fragments off your soul. <laughs> right. Thanks, Alfie. So I will have to... Hey, don't worry about me. This is all I wanted all along. It's been nice to be friends again. <laughs> Same for me. I don't want to get sappy, but I think I'll miss you, kid. I'm not really going anywhere. See you later, friend. Okay, it's done. All we need to do now is call Gaster. But before I go, I just wanted to thank you. I'll be seeing you all very soon. I promise you, bro. Let's hope this signal reaches him. Gaster made this so it would be able to get through the void. It's our only hope. Mm. Oh, songs. You really have the worst timing. Meanwhile, somewhere else. Come back here, you coward! Do you really think you can escape from me? What are you even trying to do? There's no one left down there, and I have your DT. You didn't kill everyone. Eh. <laughs> And you don't have all of my DT. I allowed you to control me for too long. Now it's enough. Oh, spare me the holier-than-thou speech. As if this wasn't your fault as well. Also, if you think he's still alive, you're wrong. It's too late to fix things. You might as well help me punish who really deserves it. No, I'm tired of being your puppet won't take part in this anymore. I'll make things right on my own. I don't need your advice. No, wait, don't! Ah, Frisk, you hypocritical idiot. You're such a pain sometimes. Wake up, child. Wake up. What? Who are you? No, nobody really. Have I already seen you somewhere? Maybe. Who can tell? Human faces are all the same to me. You know, it is almost funny that you are here. Funny? Oh, yes. Sons and I have spent all of our time here trying to fix your mess. Sons? Sons really is alive. I'm so glad. <laughs> yes, I bet you are. And I bet Sons is going to be even more glad once I tell him about our new plan. 